first remove the uh, fuse for the air compressor so that's the when you open the fuse box so that's the is 40 impairs i think so remove that uh, fuse and next up on the top of the air bag so in the inside that's the air hose is going is connected on the on the top so use the 10 mm key and remove the lose the once the wheel is removed so uh, this is all the wire it was uh, uh, hang it with the shock it was here so i just cut it this one so push it back and uh, as you can see uh, this nut so i use the i gonna use the uh, t45 t45 and uh, it will go inside here it's gonna hold it and then with wrench i'm gonna turn it one here and on the top this one so maybe i'm gonna remove this one too because it's going inside and there is a two three clip here one and this one one this one two three and two screw here so let's then i'm gonna disconnect the electric wire so just uh, remove the So next up, uh, I'm gonna remove the, this bar, you know, it's going on the top here. So I'm gonna remove this one. And then uh, yeah, the next one. So for that, there is a socket 21. I know how to do it again. So now on the shock, uh, uh, there is on the bottom, there is uh, the big nut. That's the, I think that it is hot, but luckily it wasn't stuck. So I use the key 24 and hold it on the other side. And this side. I put the circuit 24 So now I just so now almost everything is disconnected so look like my shock is free and on the top it was yeah the top is also free okay guys so that's the shock i just remove it so the hardest thing was when all the nut was open but it was very stuck you know 
So next step, I need to take out this, this one, and then it's gonna come out. Okay, guys. So we need to remove this one. It was very rusty. So usually there is technique, you know. Uh, I don't have the exact the triangle tool but uh, this is the way it can work you put the key here and with this you just push it down so then there is a ring you know like this it's it's there you know so that's the ring actually I just already push it down so there is the ring and it was stuck you know with uh, too much rust you know so okay guys so I just removed the cap and then there is a uh, not you know one we need to open and I don't have exactly the right tool again and I'm just using the 17 socket that's the old one I just remove it and before I put the new one I have to put the okay that's the ring it's like stainless steel and this rubber o-ring number so this is my new one it's not original there is uh, no parts So same thing no when same way when you open so need to tight it No 
look like the ring is on the way down on the right spot yeah that's it so I put new airbag so look like everything is okay everything is tight on the top so it's ready to install so let's start So for to reinstall shock, first thing when hang it on the top, top three even, just hold it with one nut and then the hardest, hardest thing was when these things, you have to push with the, like uh, the big bar, you know, use the big bar like this and uh, because uh, it has to go all the way airbag have to go up you know so then this thing is gonna pass over this rod so this is the little bit of maybe you need help you know with someone so when you're gonna try to lift it up uh, the shock and someone can put it down this things and then it's gonna pass over so once it's a put the i just put it the screw there the big one and I tight it here and so now I gonna try to put it this one so. So connect the shark electric cable. So this is the leveling wall, so, so it goes, let's check it, open with 10 mm key, so it's good to idea sometime, it's rusty, wow, it's already blocked, you can see, it's too much rust inside, it's not even moving, but look, it's hard. It should be free, you know. This stuff. Wow, and look, this is also here. It's too much rust inside here, too. And this side also is too much rust. It's, it's, I have to clean nicely. So let's tie it top shock, top three knot of shock. And then up to air holes we need to connect this one connect it and then so let's tight the air hose so we are very close to finish and after the air hose tight i have to put the fuse back and that's it and then put the wheel back and then we're gonna start i just start my car to let the air go in the uh, suspension air bag bags and now uh, the level is 
perfect i just check it and uh, so far is uh, it's now is couple of hour is gone and i don't see you know the air is leaking so i hope uh, it's gonna it will not gonna i will not gonna lose the air from airbag so thank you very much so i hope it's gonna help you how to change the front suspension airbag so thank you guys see you next time